The new game option shows on the LCD display the first time the menu button is selected. When this is a new game, press yes to clear all of the program data for the last game played or the game in progress and begin running the selected sport. Press no to resume the game in progress using the current data and exit the menu. If the All Sport Console is utilized for multiple sports, it may be necessary to enter a new code. After selecting Menu and pressing the down arrow button once, the option to enter a new code is presented. Press Yes to begin selection of a new code from the Enter Code prompt. Press No to resume the game in progress using the current data and exit the menu. Home Roster and Guest Roster are entered the same way. Home Roster is used as an example. Press Yes or the right or left arrow key to select the Home or Guest Roster submenu and show the first prompt on the LCD. After selecting Yes, Home Dash Team Name will appear on the LCD screen with the second line flashing on the first letter of the team name. You will see at the end of the line the asterisk is also blinking. This is to let you know to accept the change. Enter Yes needs to be pushed after the name is entered. The team name insert must be used to enter the team name message center settings. The team name message center setting is updated after each selection is completed. Enter up to 15 characters for the team name and press enter. After entering the home and guest team names, reinsert the football insert to continue. Press no to resume the game in progress using the current data and exit the menu. As you prepare to utilize the All Sport 5000 console for football, there are a few specific menu options to begin setting up. After you have turned on the console, the menu will prompt if this is a new game and if a new code needs to be entered. The menu key allows the user to select from a list of options specific for each sport. Utilize the up and down arrow keys to scroll through the menu list. Press in a key other than yes, no, the arrow keys and other allowed keys exits the menu function. Use this function at the start of each new game to edit the home and guest rosters. Pressing the menu key again is the easiest way to exit the menu function. Within the menu navigation there is an option for edit settings. Edit settings will give you the option to edit settings related to the main clock, play clock, timeouts, and a couple of other options that have default sets within the system. To access the edit settings option, choose menu key then arrow down past New Game, New Code, Dimming, Home and Guest, Roster, Display Settings. When LCD shows Menu-Main, Edit Settings, you will want to select Enter or Yes to access the options. The Main Clock Mode and Time options allow for setting the display to show a tenth of a second and the length associated to the period break and overtime. The play clock time allows the options to set reset 1 and reset 2 times and select if it will be reset on stop. Whenever a new number, yes or no, have been selected, the asterisk will blink that enter yes needs to be pressed to save the selection. Timeouts both full and partial can be set to the specific number that need to be available for the game with the amount of time that needs to be associated to each. As you enter in the correct number, the asterisk will flash to have you hit enter or yes to save the change. During the game, as timeouts are used, it will apply what is used based on this setting. A couple other settings include center field set and ball on mode. Center field set allows the yards for the location of the center of the field. Enter the correct number if it is different than the default 50 then select enter or yes. If you determine this should not be changed, clear or no can be pressed twice to return to menu. There are two ways of operating the all sport console during a football game. There is a manual mode that has the operator enter the ball on, increase the downs, and yards to go. Many operators prefer to utilize automatic mode. This mode takes away having to enter as much information for each play. The operation begins with each start of possession. The possession key is pressed and the LCD prompts for the play direction 1 equals left and 3 equals right. Select 1 or 3 for the direction of play on the field. The LCD now prompts for the side of the field 1 equals left, 3 equals right. Select 1 or 3 for the side of the field the ball is currently on. Then the LCD prompts for the ball on possession of the ball. 
After that is entered, each play is entered using the ball on key. After each play, the operator will want to select the ball on key. The LCD will then read side of field. One equals an arrow pointing to the left and three equals an arrow pointing to the right. The next screen on the LCD shows ball on and the yard line it was last on. This has the operator update the yard line information and then hit enter or yes to confirm the change. The next screen shows the ball on with the yard number just entered, a possession arrow, and the down number and the yards to go. To accept the change, the operator just needs to select enter or yes. In this mode, the bottom line of the LCD shows the current play direction and the side of the field on the two right most characters. A vertical line shows center field and an arrow represents the side of the field and direction of play.